Okay, welcome back to MG Arena, everybody. So, I've forgotten exactly where we last were at, but I think we are basically defeating Liu Dai at this point. No need to attack into them while we can siege them and reduce the amount of troops they have. Wait, let's see, can we do it? Garrison. Okay, so I think Guan Yu can just go ahead and take this over. But yeah, we'll go ahead and delegate this. Take over the city. Prepare the structures and regain our income from it. We'll occupy it. I think that's going to be it for Liu Dai. Occupation, killed in battle. Wang Yu, Li Yan. Jahao Dune has become the one eyed. Wait. I thought I said a one eyed exile. Okay. So Lu Dai has been defeated, I think. Except for this unit of remnants here. No need to go attack. He's not going to be able to replenish his forces. So we've got. Who's Liz Roshi over there? Oh, he's just another champion. And he's defending Peng Cheng with this extremely fortified garrison as well. And it is a city, a walled city, I think. Yeah, a walled city. This is a small city. It's not doing much. We'll go ahead and re garrison Liu Bei into here. Sao Ren and Sao Sao. So we can upgrade Chen, but look what else is over here. A lodge. Okay, so basically Liu Bei is more focused on peasantry and agriculture. We do need to beware of Kong Rong. Perhaps we can... Um, they're still friendly towards us. I don't think they'll be attacking us anytime soon though. Gonsungzan. Oh. Quest to join their coalition. Apparently, none of them want any part of it, even though we're friendly. So, war atrocities against our friends. Liu Dai. He's definitely mad against us. Unfavorable deals with us. Where's this Shizi fella? Okay. Negotiate. Can we get. Nope, nope, nope. They've got all other coalitions. I don't need to join anything and upset everybody. So we're right here. We've got allies in Zheng Chao. Gunsung Zan and Kong Rong. How did Kong Rong get an entire commandery way up here? That's insane. Okay, Liu Biao. What if we just travel up this river? Can we get to just just get to Liu Biao that way? I think that's that. I think that's how we get there. We've been waiting for a moment to get to that point. So Chen. Requirements upgrade here. View in the reforms. So we have to get this irrigation here. Plus 15% income from peasantry. Ooh. And we're. That's right on track. <clears throat> we're ways off from actually recruiting using the J cavalry. So perhaps we could build up our economy first. So we are a minor strategic threat like it before. We've got some unity going for us. And I think we've got plenty of gold. Our income is... What's the number actually? So we've got a 2.8k army upkeep. We've got undercover characters going about as well. So Roshi... We'll go ahead and upgrade his forces as well. At least recruit some just in case. 
160 for this G infantry, uh, G militia. Okay. Let's see. Peng Cheng has a garrison of one, two, three, four, five units of archers. I think I'll add one more unit of archers. E archers. Look at that. Look at this. Four times as much income or but they they're so much better i think that's they're, they're just so much better good in melee so yeah let's do ye archers for that damn that's a lot of money and one unit of g infantry as well okay so that will start off our recruitment Liu Bei needs to recover his forces. He's got some cavalry, Yi marksmen here. Yi archers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven unit of archers here. This is fantastic. Like this, this is a well balanced force. And we'll go ahead and wait. So Liu Bei. What can we uh, swap unit out for? Not much else. So I'm interested, are these like, if I recruit this, this is, I'm trying to figure out these colours just sort of represent the kind of things that we, they can do, or the, this can be used in other, those other commander general types I suppose. That's really interesting how they colour these like that. Oh well. Okay, so end the turn, I don't think we've got much else to do. I'm not sure we want to upgrade this lodge yet to a guest house. We've got the requirements. Let's see, Tai Shan. Dong Hai definitely has an upgrade available as well. We can upgrade to the guest lodge also. But we want, let's see, conscription, military forge. I think we want a military forge uh, or Shuhan tax collection. You can get public order. Public, I think we're fine with the public order. Uh, let's see. Is that a special built set of buildings that we can only build over there? Let's see here. So it looks like the Shuhan tax collection is about. We just have access to this since we are the Shuhan sort of faction. But do we want to be commerce, industry? What sort of things are we going for? Military forge, melee infantry, spear infantry. I think we definitely want to get one of these somewhere in the local commandery. Oh, there's so many choices that we can make, and it's just so difficult. Donghai, let's look at Chen. We can at least upgrade this. We cannot upgrade this. Can we not convert this? So this is a labor shop. Okay. So we'd have to convert this to something, a level 2 equivalent. We could put a guard post in Taishan. I don't think we need to. Land development, we've got something there, we've got something there. And we've got labour. Perhaps we're going to try to get Plus 40% income from industry. Not much for us here. I don't think this is... I think this is the only thing we could build. So we'll save up our money for now. Before we demolish everything and... I'm not sure how much we can convert to other things. So... We'll go ahead and end the turn. Not do much. And let's look at our mission first. So we need to go and move by and get to rank of Duke. Alright, alright. 
10 minutes in to the recording okay they're having a massive army attack Chen can we repel this is Sao Sao's capital city that we had recently took and Liu Dai is trying to regain his lands back Liu Bei good omen plus 10 public order so let's look at our garrison. We've only got we've one set of units for our garrison. So the question is, do we want to reach out and attack them? Because obviously Cao Cao has ambushed units right here. Do we want to take off their reinforcements quickly? Or do we want to just stay under the protection of this? I don't think we have a chance or a choice. We march out now, then they'll get reinforcements because they're obviously within the reinforcements range. So possibly it is good for us to just let them let them attack us, and then we can come in with reinforcements. Possibly, we got plenty of money though. Court, we got two positions and an extra administrator. Plus one mustering turns, is that bad? Mi Ju, Tao Shang, Zhang Yong is on assignment, Luo Shi. Let's see here. Desires a higher court position. It's Guan Yu desire he does not. Zhao Yun, he does not yet. Zhang Yong, he does. He's on assignment, so we can't assign him yet. Yeah. I think we could assign him as Chancellor, but Okay. We need other people. Zhao Yan, Luo Xing, Luo Shi. I'm not ready to sign them because if I unassign them, then they'll get demoted technically and they'll be definitely dissatisfied about it. So I think I'll have Guan Yu to wipe out the rest of Li Dai's forces here. Delegate this. No need to worry about this. Look at Guan Yu. Oh, look at that. His. Extra replenishment, please. So we've eliminated Liu Dai off the map. This is farmland here, and we'll go ahead and repair it. And we'll march down here. I'm not worried about. Oh shoot! Damn, I was going to um, change the change their course. Perhaps Zhang Fei could. Guan Yu has the better troops, so I think Zhang Fei is going to have to move up the stream. So I think I'll start doing that. Go ahead and move retinue outside. So Zhang Fei. I want I want Zhang Fei to replenish his troops as well, so we'll, we'll be okay with that. So you want Xu is to our west. He doesn't seem to be. Diplomatic treaties. We do have a non aggression pact with them. Can absorb the faction. You can request to join the coalition. Oh, he's in the same coalition as Sao Sao. Wait, that makes no goddamn sense. If he's in the same as Yuan Xu, there's nobody like us at all. Nobody. 
so I can at least go and take over these with this fella here. I'll add one more unit of archers since he's about to go out. And a unit of this. Cheaper troops, but necessary to keep that going. We are getting lots of money from commerce though, so I'm not too worried about this. What's this? You have new knowledge of this building and cannot develop it further. State workshops. We've got granary. We've got a fishing port. Yeah. Iron. We've got that going for us. So I think we want to have... Unlocks the resource requirements for this. Uh, we don't have any of the requirements for it. But I think this... Provincial military forges. Yes, okay, that's good. But we'll keep this for income for now. I'm not doing much for about it. That's fine. I think they'll be under siege. I may just have these two join up and assist in fighting and I think that'll be it. We've got so many things that we can upgrade. I don't want to upgrade Chen just yet since we may lose the city. Oh, we can upgrade this. So Lang Ye is going to get an upgrade and we'll end the turn. Uh, eavesdropper. Uh, yeah, I'll do this, that's fine. Don't really need that. Oh. Seems they are very interested in... Who's this? He's with one shoe. I'll let him rest in here. So, Sao Sao. Mm. This is going to be difficult. get significantly less replenishment but I think that's fine they are in enemy territory thing is do I want to march going you down knowing South South will be there let's see what's his range I'm not sure okay so we got sort of that range can we just move one you down to here Without getting ambushed. Perfect. Enemy ambush failed. Reinforcing. Okay, so close to defeat. We don't have reinforcements. So, do we want to retreat? Let's retreat for now. Guan Yu can adopt the marching stance. And we can attack Sao Ren. And we'll have extra reinforcements from this. So let's start this battle. Wait, we can fight a night battle. Oh snap! We can completely eliminate Sao Sao from this. So let's go ahead and start this battle. Night battles are amazing. Yes, I like this. So we eliminate Sao Ren and then we've got 
plenty to work with against Cao Cao. If you are low on funds and need to expand units, look for those with least experience first. Mm. And it's during the winter as well. Okay, so obviously Liu Bei with his cavalry will do this. I think I'll add Zhao Yun to be his bodyguard as well. And Miju will control the book of the forces here. So let's go ahead and are they working? Are they walking towards us? Looks like they are a bit. What is with these orbs? So it seems they cannot get help from Sao Sao, which is fantastic. Which means we'll just go ahead and demolish them. So I'm going to. Oh, we've got another set of. Sao Sao Yun, Sao Duo. Right, well, I suppose I need to fall back this one. It's part of two. So they're fighting. So let's slow things down a bit. Move these guys in for quick beating. I suppose I'll just have them shoot them up. And I'll attack them directly. So Zhao Yun should win this fight easily, even though it's Sao Ren. Sao Ren is definitely really, really powerful here. Damn, these arrows are so hard to see. Don't even need to worry. be worried about this. Look at this. Okay, so let's let's slow this down. Have these guys toggle their fire at will. Don't even need to do anything. They are oh, just definitely just killed everybody and now we're just mopping up with our cavalry and our inventory of course Zhao Yun was... see I'm not sure what these are oh, these just torches and stuff Okay, so note to self, moving through the snow is very difficult. So we cannot target him. So we're basically killing the strategist here. Everybody just hop on in. Kill their strategists. 
So, yeah, note to yourself, walking through snow is really, really difficult. So, this guy is pretty bold and he's been killed, defeated. And that wasn't much of a fight, so we'll claim and end this battle. Oh, how I love doing that. Yes, yes, yes. We lost maybe like 50 units. Oh! Sao Ren? We can employ him. Okay, this is definitely a spying effect. Re reduce penalty from desire for higher office. That's good. Intrepid. He gets a special unit of... Ooh, Tiger Cav. I don't think we can even do this. We Can, can we even get these units though? Don't really need, don't really care to execute him. He's an incredible character. But I'm just confused as to why he's not. Well, I'll employ him. I think we we didn't lose many troops, so we'll go for this. <clears throat> We attack here. Obviously, he can't reach. So, one, you move a bit closer as well. And we'll go ahead and attack South South. One, you. you can't run away from me twice. Now we're in <coughs> very good position right here. So let's go ahead and start this battle as well. One use forces are maybe very, very tired. So I think so we're attacking from from here. So one use forces may be coming from this direction. I believe so. So victory is achieved by becoming the emperor of the unified China. You must first become an emperor, then destroy all opposing emperors. Interesting. So I want to work my way towards Liu Jiang and Liu Bao, sort of, yeah, they're coming in from that direction. They'll be very tired though. So this will be one hell of a fight. So they've got heavy spear cav. Yeah, it's going to be quite the, quite the fight. I'll leave... Okay, they've got plenty of cab on that side. We definitely want to always get around them. Alright, so we'll spread like this. Zhao Yun will take over this flank. Liu Bei, you'll take care of this flank as well. Start this battle. So slow things down. Wen Yu is on his way. Look at that. Wen Yu, very tired though. They are not moving. They're just waiting for us to make the move. So I think it's fine. I think they stay very tired when they come into battle. And I'll have Guan Yu move over here. Don't need to have them run. Hold on. Why is this not a timer limit? It's supposed to be a 15 mi 60 minute timer. 
I have Liu Bei form up, sort of right here. Zhao Yun is definitely going to be neat down there. Alright, I'm going to move up s slowly. You don't need to run, or you'll be less. You'll be incredibly tired. So I, obviously they don't know. They know where the reinforcements came from. So we are marching really quickly. So they got the archers up front. These guys, I'm not sure they got incredible range or not, but we've got further range than they do. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and move up two units of G militia and then move up these crossbow units. Stop running. Guan Yu's forces are coming. Yeah, they're still very tired. Alright, let's sort of move up slowly. I'm trying to look at the range, look at this. We, we can fire all the way up to here. And they can only fire up to here. So while Guan Yu's forces are coming, while we are reorganizing. Moving up our forces quite slowly but deliberately. I think I'm going to relocate um, one of my units of cavalry. Sort of hide them in the bushes here. It will be of no surprise. When they see that. Okay, so our archers cannot quite reach them yet. We've also got a crossbow, so. Let's see if we can't mm, have our archers. We've got two sets of medium crossbow. So they, I think they've spotted Guan Yu's army. Alright, so we're having an archer battle, I suppose. Okay, so we're just firing on them and they're not doing anything about it. That's good for us. Fantastic. Okay, let's slow things down. They're preparing to move now. So we'll march these fellows up. I'll move them up here just in case as well. Watch them forward. Decline, please. I'll do you though. Okay, okay. 
Seems we're doing pretty phenomenal here. We need our archers to relocate. These unit of spears can relocate as well. The Jiao Yun is going to move back up the line. Yeah, this is this is good. This is quite good. So reach a wider formation. We may need to pause a bit. So yeah, let's pause and we'll reform these guys. Okay. Oh, they're actually in range. We can just shoot down. Let's, let's focus on their spears. That's what our problem is going to have to, is going to be. Yeah, these guys move significantly slower. They're also massively tired. So Liu Bei, you're going to definitely have to go in to support them. And then these guys want at least one of these units to be shooting down theirs and I'll have another one shoot down their archers. So they need to shoot down them and they'll, they're free to just shoot them. Okay I think that's good. Let's play. Decline. Let's have you. Let's go to slow motion. Let's have you decline any proposed duels. Let's duel Jaho Dune. Okay, that's good. You can shoot them down. Oh shoot, that's not good. Okay, so we've got that happening to us. So let's pause, go on use forces. rush in there no questions asked when you shoot their strategist down and we'll charge the archers over here okay good let's go in slow motion have these guys shoot them G militia Don't worry, we got support coming. So we got luckily we've got Zhao Yun in here. Okay, fantastic. We've got this. They can just shoot straight into them. Okay, good, good. Fantastic. Yeah, basically. Liu Bei and his cavalry are going to be destroying their archers. When you aim for their strategist. Oh shoot, what's happening over here? Okay, we need to shoot down all these spears as soon as possible. The Lancer Militia is fine. We may need to charge into the back of these spears as well. Yeah, Sao Sao is incredibly difficult to... F yeah, we need these guys over here as soon as possible. Alright, let's play this. Okay, 
Well, basically, all of you guys need to focus fire over here. Slow this down. Oh, this is a close fight here. So we are definitely disrupting them. Zhao Yun, you bet you best win. Zhao Yun has emerged victorious. Great. <laughs> let's uh, let's evade Sao Sao's wrath. So at least our archers are just decimating them. Liu, Liu Bei will have to take out the Gorgia. That calf is going to be... Yep, they're, they're basically they're just running down. They're out of ammo, so they'll join the front lines, defeating Sao Sao. Good, good. The fact that we are defeating their heavy tight cav is quite important. Guan Yu's joined the fray. Blinding Fury. Zhao Yun is leaving the battlefield, that's good for him. Oh. Oh. Sao Sao, do you really want to fight Liu Bei? Fallen O Sworn. Let's see here. Sao Sao versus Liu Bei. 170 Yeah, okay This side is quite troublesome Good all of their forces are being eliminated. One, you can attack that. Great. Okay, phenomenal. Shoot, shoot down the rest of them as much as you can. Please. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. And we've routed them. Actually, with quite minimal losses. Alright, let's try to kill Sao Sao. Okay, we've run almost all their forces off the battlefield. We can just keep. Shoot them down, shoot them down. And Sao Sao has escaped. Let's end this battle. That was quite a good victory. Could have done some more finagling, but we got G Militia against the medium spears. That was quite difficult. Very, very quite difficult. They lost quite a bit. We'll definitely do punishment here. Ooh, and Sao Sao. Character recruited. Estimated salary. Hold on. Rivals. This one, O Sworn Kin, was killed in battle against my army. What vengeance awaits? We got Shadow Runner. So, let's look at our new ancillary. Okay, we've got someone, Kang Chi. I don't think we need another vanguard. Let's see, I don't really care about you. 
Let's go ahead and just release you from service. Yeah, you don't need don't need more money off of this. Salren is already quite enough. So Gorn, you can go ahead and march back up north and defend that. And he will take the opportunity to take out the livestock farms and stuff like that. Del Turban Rebellion. So we got that, we got that. Peng Cheng, you can upgrade that city as well. Yeah, might as well. Let's do it. So Chen's in the safe zone, so I'm comfortable upgrading the city of Chen as well. Okay, now that was quite quite some battles. They weren't very quick, but I suppose this is fine. All of our armies are definitely need to be replenished. Miju definitely held his held his own. Okay. Well, that is the short battle in just basically two turns that we have. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. I wish we could have this fishing port. We definitely want this fishing port. Maybe it's fine. We've got lots of food production with this one though. Mate, 406,000 for this fishing port of population. Let's try one more thing with the Kong Rong here. Let's trade. Trade territory. So if, if we give them Taishan, right? Small city. And they give us fishing port. Negative factors. Food amount. Let's see here. If we get the whole commandery, give this city. How much food are we missing out on though? That's the only question. Can we afford to is this a leverage that because they want Taishan? Uh, we but we control the capital of both commanderies. Why trade capital to get a full commandery? Let's not. Yeah, this is the capital of this commandery. Okay, well, let's. Next is our journey to Liu Biao. And the destruction of Cao Cao. So Liu Bei will join Luo Shi in taking out the rest of them. Maybe perhaps we want to have Liu Bei join Guan Yu. Yeah, I think that might be good. Liu Bei can join Guan Yu at this force and Zhao Yun will take lead in the south. And this is finally it. This is finally over. I'm finally ending it. Okay, so thanks so much for joining me and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that and have a great day. Bye bye.